Yeah. Sayori is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with whatever I pushed her into. Nobody deserves to put themselves through that kind of discomfort just because because they pity some weirdo that who doesn't know how to make friends it's the worst feeling i hate it you're in sharp words cut through the intense air somewhere in the middle of the conversation the two stopped short in the hallway prioritizing the conversation over their original task Maka looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down with her fists clenched. I think... I think you should tell her that. I could never say that to someone's face. It's pathetic. Say Yuri is different. Making people happy is the most important thing to her. I'm sure that's all she's trying to do. So, if you're able to explain to her what makes you happy, then she'll do anything to make it happen. That's the problem. What kind of friendship has one person always trying to cater to the other person's weird needs? I'm sorry, I'm making myself sound so... No, I think I'm starting to understand. Monica hesitates to face her thought out loud. It's something that Sayori would be able to say better. Sayori is someone who will give anyone however much kindness they need in order to smile. But Yuri, who has difficulty accepting kindness, must be driving Sayori to be even more assertive in her kindness, further exasperating the matter. I neither person is to blame, but it's an issue that can't be resolved without them understanding each other better. Sayori wants to be your friend, I promise that. It's okay for different people to have different needs. I mean, Sayori, she has her own needs too. But good friends work together and can be what they need for each other. You just have to have good communication and talk about it. I don't have good communication. Yuri stops and shakes her head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. My head is just, it's so resistant to everything. I'm, I'm pushing such a kind person away from me because of it. Yuri pauses to think. I'm so tired of this cycle I'm creating for myself. I think I'm so afraid of people pushing me away that I just push them away first. How thoughtless and immature of me. Yuri takes a deep breath and exhales. I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session. But I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. <laughs> You're totally fine. It's for the club, remember? You're just helping make the club a better place for everyone. Yeah. Yuri falls silent again. She looks like she wants to say something. This, this kind of critical thinking is something that I'm really bad at. You know, about people. So, thank you. Anytime. Monica smiles at Yuri. For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. Yuri and Monica finishes replacing the old flyers with new ones. More accurately, Monica mostly did the work while Yuri followed along. But as the club room once again draws near, so does Yuri's confrontation. I can't do this. Yes you can. It'll be great. Yuri sh sighs and shakes her head. I'm never going to feel confident enough. I just have to do it. If I don't do it now, I never will. Yuri starts towards the door, but then turns to face Monica. You're not just going to wait outside, are you? <laughs> I can take a walk. Want me to get you a coffee or something? Actually, I prefer tea. I like to make my own though, so please don't worry about it. Although, I suppose that's one downside of reading here in the club rather than at home. I don't get to drink tea while reading. Sorry, I guess that has nothing to do with this. Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, I bet we could get permission to keep stuff for the tea in the club room. You can use, like, an electric kettle to heat up the water, right? Would that really be possible? I'll look into it. I think that would be great. Yuri smiles and nods at the thought. Well, I'll be back in a bit. Good luck. Monica waves at Yuri, then turns around and departs down the hallway as Yuri's smile fades once more. A moment of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety of the task that lies before her, but it must be done. Taking one more deep breath, Yuri timidly opens the club room door. Yuri? Wait, hold on. I'm not done yet. So Yuri shuffles a bunch of papers around. Uh, um, Yuri stammers, her words suddenly caught in her throat. At that moment, she realizes how Sayuri has been spending her afternoon. I wasn't expecting you to come today. I was really hoping to make it all the way through to the next chapter first, but I got most of the way through it. And look, Sari holds up a sheet of paper. It's a page of notes beautifully produced with indentations, categories, and even color coding. As Yuri sees it, her expression shifts from anxiety to despair. I was afraid you were getting disappointed in me, so I've been trying really hard- Stop. Yuri presses her fists against her forehead. Please stop. I can't take this. Yuri? Sayori's voice quivers in shock after having received the exact opposite response she was expecting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sayori looks away in guilt. Did I 
do something wrong? I don't understand. So if I did something wrong, please tell me. Yuri shakes her head. No, it's me. I keep putting myself in these situations where people are afraid to treat me normally. If you don't like this kind of reading, it's okay. Please just tell me. I don't need to be treated differently just because I'm weird. But I don't treat you differently. I just want my friends to be happy. So I thought that if we did something together that you'd really like- I don't want your pity! Jesus Christ, okay. Why did I do that? Yuri sinks to her knees, her voice squeaks. I I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This isn't how it was supposed to go. Why is it so hard to just articulate your thoughts? Why do you end up pushing everyone away from you? Yuri's mind pounds with internal accusations as she shuts her eyes, unable to face the area or the rest of the world. She should leave, just escape from here, before Monica sees her like this, and before Sayori tells Monica what she did. But before Yuri can put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Ah, oh, God, stop. Uh, the tears are flowing. Oh my God, I'm actually crying at this again. It's okay. Sayori whispers in a soothing voice. It's okay. It's okay. Overcome by despair, Yuri finds herself unable to protest or pull away from Sayori's kind gesture. Yuri sniffles, breathing heavily through a clenched throat, trying with all her willpower to control herself. I understand. I understand that the things you're feeling in your head are different from the things that you're trying to say. I know that must be what you're feeling right now. I promise I understand that. So I'll give you as much time as you need. When you're ready, just tell me your feelings and we'll talk about them together, okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. She gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts and speaks while steadying her voice. I think... I think I've... that I've gotten so used to people being weirded out by me that it feels like anyone who's nice to me is just doing it out of pity. I'm so horrible with people, so it makes me not want to believe that someone can actually like me for who I am. Yuri pauses, but Sayori doesn't interrupt. Rather, she waits for Yuri to continue. I got so excited when I joined the club. I thought that it was finally my chance to make friends through my interests, because my interests are the only things I know how to talk about. It's all I have going for me. But then, whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person. But how am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? I just I want to learn how to get along with people and stop ruining things for myself. That's all. Yuri finishes her thoughts, feeling more steady after having gotten them out. Sari, who could feel Yuri's breath rise and fall from beneath her arms, realizes that as well. Thank you for helping me understand you a little bit better. You know, you were so great at helping me while we were reading, so I'll help you with the things you that you need to. But I feel like it would be frustrating for you with how much patience I require sometimes. <laughs> That sounds kind of familiar. I couldn't stop worrying about that while we were reading. I was so afraid you would get frustrated with me, but I would never do that. I did my best to reassure you by mentioning how I have a lot of patience. Yeah, I know, but my irrational fears just won't be quiet sometimes. I'm sure it's the same for you, right? Yeah, irrational fears. Well, you know, there's no way that you could frustrate me, because I already like you as the person that you are. I know you said you have a hard time believing that, but I promise that it's true. You don't have to be a social person for people to like you. I think you really consider it in your own way, you know? Worrying so much about people's feelings? We're all kind of awkward. It's a literature club. <laughs> but it's the best part that we're all different, and we have different interests. Like about the book. I'm reading it because I want to. I promise. That's what I really want. It's a bit of a struggle, but try not to mistake that for me not enjoying it. I mean, we could never discover new things if we didn't try them first, right? I want to learn the reasons that you love it so much. And in the end, if it's not for me, then I can say that. But I'll be glad that I tried it and learned more about you. 
Plus, you're like super duper smart. And I want that to rub off on me. <laughs> Yuri fights back a smile at the comment. Already, the heavy atmosphere surrounding her seems to have evaporated through the caress of Sayori's arms. Your hair is so pretty. I always wanted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, so I cut it all off. Hmm. Yuri's tension relaxes. For once, she feels okay just listening rather than worrying so much about saying the right thing. Sayori, sensing Yuri's comfort, lets her rest. It must be so difficult for her to feel relaxed around other people. But if the literature club can make it happen, then it's something that she deserves to experience. Oh man, I legit thought that was going to be the end. I was going to be like, no, don't leave it there, please. Well then, based on my understanding of your feelings, I suppose I wouldn't mind if we were to continue reading. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. But we can stop at any time. If you truly don't like it, please be honest about it. I won't be offended. Of course. I'm not going to judge anything this early on, though. So we'll just see what happens. Oh, and, um, it's not good to touch people without their consent first. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Oh, you didn't. I mean, I suppose it was kind of nice. I was just saying. I'm back. Monica's back. I haven't seen you, like, at all recently. Sayori trots over to Monica. Uh, she whispers out loudly. Can I hug you? <laughs> sure, Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around Monica. Oh, yeah, Yuri. It might be good to know... Sayori could be kind of a hug monster. Uh... Hey! Don't call me a hug monster! Artemis is a monster. If he inherits the kingdom, it could spell disaster! <laughs> Yuri laughs. Monica perplexed looks between the two of them, then smiles. Well, I'm glad you've been enjoying your reading so far. It's like our first real activity as the Literature Club. Uh, about that. Well, you've been so patient with exploring my interests. I think that it'd be inconsiderate of me not to return the favour to you and learn about the things that you like. Yes! Do you like poetry? Yuri smiles. Ah, yeah, that, that was a nice uh, uh, ending. I also noticed, right? I, me I meant to say this at the start of the episode, but has that been there before? This little thing? I feel like that's new. But yeah, anyway, that is um the whole understanding story. I don't know how much episodes I'm breaking that into, but I'm probably just going to call the episode understanding. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Comment on what you think of the new Doki Doki so far. I know this is probably going to be uploaded far in the future, but still, you know, you see me play it now for the first time. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire. Sorry, I just saw the S at the last second. I was like, I have to point that out. Thank you guys so much for watching.